Okay. So, start. Okay. So, hi guys. Nakikita nyo yung PowerPoint presentation ko? Oh my God. Wait. Asan? Okay. Taglish. Okay. Taglish. So, okay. Wait. Daming, dami kong kailangan i-admit. <laughs> Nakikita nyo yung presentation? Okay, oo. Oh, oh. Okay, so, hi guys! Welcome to our third Zoom discussion. So, ngayon, i-discuss natin yung postulates kapag dating sa circles. So, yung topic na to is geometry. Okay. So, once again, pakimute lahat ng mics para hindi tayo magkakaroon ng technical difficulties. So, first, i-discuss natin yung terms. So, a second is a line that intercepts the circle at exactly two points. So, what this means, so, if my drawing ako ng circle, so, if, uh, oy, but my drawing, okay. So, if the second intersects a circle at exactly two points, a second will pass through a circle like this. So, now here, you have point A and point B. So that's what a second looks like. It passes through two points. Next, a tangent intercepts the circle at exactly one point. So what a tangent looks like is that it's on the outer part of a circle. So, oops, sorry. So it will look, it will look something like this on the outer part. At nagi intersect lang siya. So one point. So here, point A. So second intersects two points. Tangent intercepts one point. So that's the difference between a second and a tangent when it comes to geometry. Next, a chord. It's a line segment, just like the other two, connecting two points on a curve. So what this means is that hindi lalabas yung chord. So hanggang sa loob lang yung chord, yung ng circle. So a chord will only remain on the inside and will co connect two points on a curve. So here, yung chord na to nagko-connect sa point A at point B. So hindi siya lalabas hanggang sa loob lang ng circle. Malinaw? Ang bilis. Oh my God, okay. Mabilis ba ako? Sorry, okay. Dahan, dahan na. Okay. So, yung meeting na to, hanggang 40 minutes lang siya kasi wala akong Zoom premium. Pero, try ko na, ano, dahan, dahan. <laughs> okay. Next, an arc, it's a portion of the circumference. So, hindi siya yung buong circumference, kundi, ano, isang part lang of a circle. So, an arc, so if this whole outer part of a circle is a circumference, kahit itong part na to, itong maliit na part of the circumference, this is what you... Maaari mo bang ipaliwanag muli ah, ang tangent? Ah, tangent? Ay, sorry. Okay. So, tangent, hindi siya sa loob ng circle at hindi siya nag intersect sa dalawang points. Isang point lang. So, yung tangent na to, yung second, it will touch two points. So, this is a second. Point A, point B. Point A, point B, this is a second. Tangent, sa labas, at nag intersect lang sa isang point. Isang point lang. So, chord, tapos na. Arc, portion of a circumference. So, hindi siya yung buong circumference, kundi part lang. So, halimbawa, kung yung point na to, point A at point B, ibig sabihin, yung arc na to ay arc, ito yung symbol ng arc, arc A, B. So, hindi siya yung buong circumference. Okay. Next. Central angle is an angle whose vertex is the center of the circle. So, gitna ng circle. And the central angle and its intercepted arc are always equal. So, ano ba ibig sabihin ng intercepted arc? 
So first, may drawing ako na naman. So yung central angle ay palagi na sa gitna ng circle. So dito nagsistart ng central angle. So let's say angle A. So intercepted arc ay ibig sabihin kung uh, kung saan kung saan siya nag-intersect, kung saan siya connected. So yung arc na to at yung point na to ay equal kasi nakalagay dito the central arc angle and its intercepted arc are equal. So halimbawa, kung yung angle na to ay 70 degrees, the arc of a central angle is also 70 degrees. They're always equal when it's a central angle. So central angle and intercepted arc are always equal. Next. Inscribed angle is an angle whose vertex lies on the circle and whose sides are chords of the circle. So, kung yung central angle ay sa gitna ng circle, yung inscribed angle ay nasa labas. Hindi naman sa labas, ano, sa, sa circumference. So, halimbawa, dito yung point A ng inscribed angle. So, check ko lang notebook ko para sure. Yung inscribed angle na to, so this is what an inscribed, look, inscribed angle looks like. So whose sides are chords of the circle? So yung side ng inscribed angle are chords. So end-to-end -end lang ng circle. So again, yung chord ay nasa loob lang, hindi siya lalabas, at end-to-end. So, inscribed angle theorem. So, the measures of an inscribed angle is half the measure of its intercepted arc. Okay, wait lang. Okay. So, let's say my intercepted arc ako di. Uh, in, inscribed angle ako dito. So, angle A. So, nakalagay sa theorem, the measure of an inscribed angle is half the measure of the arc. So, kung yung arc ay 90 degrees, ano yung measure ng inscribed angle? 45. Tama. So, kung hahanapin mo yung inscribed angle of ano, intercept, ano, yeah, inscribed angle of the arc divide by 2 lang. Kasi kalahate siya ng arc niya. So, that's the theorem. So, now, Let's move on to the postulates. So, this is not the official numbering of postulates. Hindi ibig sabihin na, ah, postulate 1, 2, postulate 2. Hindi, guys. Nag-number lang ako kasi may naskip din ako kasi kulang tayo sa oras dahil hanggang 40 minutes lang yung meeting na to. So, let's start. Postulate 1 states, if a quadrilateral is inscribed, in a circle, then opposite angles are supplementary. So, first, it did define natin quadrilateral, polygon with four sides, and opposite angles are basically angles na hindi sila connected, they're opposite of each other, self-explanatory. At supplementary, nag add up siya, so 180 degrees. So, kunin ko muna notebook ko. Okay. So, in... A quadrilateral is inscribed in a circle. So, drawing natin yung quadrilateral. Sorry, pangit yung drawing ko. So, opposite angles are equal. So, angle A and angle B, opposite sila sa isa't isa. So, kung yung angle A ay 72 degrees, ano yung angle B? 72 degrees. 72 degrees. 72? Share kayo? 108. 108. 108. Good. So, bakit siya 108? Kasi... Supplementary. Supplementary. Tama. Opposite angles are supplementary. So, ibig sabihin, A plus B equals to 180 degrees. So, yun ah, yung... Ah, bali po. 
bali po yung magiging angle nung B, yung natitira lang po na remaining, para po yung remaining ng 180 degrees, ganun po ba? Yes, tama. So, A plus B, opposite angles, equals to 180. Next. Oops. Mabilis ba ako magsalita? Sorry, guys. <laughs> Sakto lang po. Okay. Thank you. Postulate 2. If a second and a tangent intersect on a circle, then the measure of each angle formed is one half of the intercepted arc. So, medyo mahaba yung, ano, yung postulate na to. Hanapin ko muna sa notebook ko. Okay. Wait lang. A second or a tangent? Teka lang. Asan ka? Nawala ka. Teka lang, guys. <laughs> Wait. Okay. So, if a second and a tangent intersect on a line, then measure of each angle formed is one half. So, first, drawing natin yung tangent. Yung tangent nasa labas kasi nag intersect lang sa isang point. Okay? So, ito yung tangent A. Yung second mo, lumalabas at nag intersect sa dalawang points. So, point A and point P. So, ito yung second mo. Ito yung arc mo kasi dito lang nagpapas yung tangent and second. So, isahin natin ulit yung postulate. If a second and a tangent intersect on a circle, the measure of each angle form is one half. Or ibig sabihin, divided by two. So, kung hanapin nyo yung angle A at yung arc mo dito ay 72 degrees, ano yung angle A? 36 mo ba? Yes, 36. <laughs> Tama. Kasi, one half of the intercepted arc. So, i-divide mo lang yung arc by 2, which is 36. So, again, if one second and one tangent form an angle, their angle is one half of their arc. Malina ba? Yes po. Okay. Po po. Thank you. Yes po. Next, postulate 3. The line segment times its whole second is equal to the other second times its whole second. Okay. So, medyo nalilito. Nakakalito. The seconds are not equal, but the products are the same. So, products only are the same. So, again... So, yung second, di ba, nag intersect ng dalawang points at lumalabas. So, the line segment times its whole segment, second is equal to the other segment. So, ibig sabihin may dalawang seconds tayo dito. So, itong dalawa ay seconds kasi nag intersect sila sa dalawang points. So, point, so, let's say point A, point B, point C, and point D. So, nakalagay dito, the line segment times the whole second. So, line segment is, at we have to say, this is point E kasi ito yung buong second. So, the line segment, so hindi siya yung buong line, times its whole second. So, the line segment, so that's AB, times its whole second, that's AE, times AE is equal to the other segment times its whole second. So, line other segment, CD, times its whole second, so CE. So, in short, line segment AB times line segment, ah, second AE is equal to line segment CD multiplied 
by line segment, ah, second CE. Malinaw? Yes, po. Okay. So, may eraser ba dito? <laughs> Wala akong eraser. <laughs> so, let's say line segment AB is 7 times line segment AE is 10 equals to line segment CB times line segment CE. So if line segment CB is 2 and CE is X, what is CE? 35. 35. 35. 35. 35. 35. So 7 times 10 is 70. And then you have 2x. So paano kung hanapin yung x, divide both sides by 2, at magiging 35. Yung products lang ay parehas. Products lang. Hindi yung mismong line segments or yung mismong line seconds. Products lang ay equal. So, Kung, by the way, kung kasama na kayo sa study group natin, i-upload ko rin yung presentation na to. Ma'am, page po ba yung study group? Ay hindi, or... uh, mismong group siya. Ipopost ko na naman yung link mamaya. Ah, sige po. Thank you po. Welcome. Postulate 4. In a circle, two chords are congruent or equal. So congruent means equal if and only if they are equidistant from the center. So equidistant means from point, point A to point B equals to point B to point C. Basically, if point A to point B is 5 centimeters, point B to point C is also 5 centimeters. Equidistant or equal in distance. So equidistance equidistant means equal in distance. So once again, if a circle in a circle two chords are congruent or equal if and only if they are equidistant from the center. So ano yung itsura na yun? So we have two chords. So chord remember hindi siya lalabas. Chord A and chord B. And then we have chord C and chord D. And then we have point O. Sorry, pangit talaga yung drawing ko. So, if to find out they are equidistant, if point X to point O, ay, charot. If chord AB, is x plus 4. So chord AB is x plus 4. And chord CD, so dapat equidistant sila. So chord CD is 2x minus 2. Hanapin mo yung x. So equals to 2x minus 2. Bakit equal sign? Kasi equidistant. So equal in distance. So Move the x to the other side. So, magiging 2x minus x equals to 4 plus 2. So, x is 6. So, parehas sila. So, 2x minus 2. I-input yung 6 mo dito. So, 2x minus 2 is 2 times 6, which is 12, minus 2, which equals to 10. And then, x plus 4, x plus 10. Magiging 10. So, ayun, ibig sabihin, chord A, B equals to chord C, D. Dahil, equidistant sila. Okay. Postulate 5. In a circle, two chords are congruent Parehas lang. Charot. Ay, yun lang ba? <laughs> so yeah. Yun lang. Yun yung mga main 
ano, main, may tanong po ako sa postulate three. Okay, so now that tapos na tayo, ano, open forum. Kung may tanong kayo, chat lang sa Zoom group chat at i-extain ko. So, ano yung tanong mo sa postulate three? So, ibabalik tayo sa postulate three. Okay, balik na. Ano pa? Ano yung tanong mo? Example mo. Sa example mo. Ah, sa example. Okay. So, you, ito yung, itong dalawa, second sila. A-E, buong second siya. C-E, buong second. So, postulate three states, the line segment times its whole second. So, line segment. So, line segment is basically, hindi siya yung buong line, kundi yung part lang ng line. So, A-B na yun. Kasi hindi siya yung buong line. Times, it's whole second. So, times A-E, yung whole second, is equal to, ay, sorry, C-B dapat. The other line segment multiplied by its, uh, ano tag dito? Multiplied by its line second. So, on, yung products lang ay equal. Okay. 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 Same process sa kabilang line. So, okay. I-practice natin dito. Kasi blank space naman. So, let's say point A, B, C, D, E. Point A, B is... Okay, wait. Muna notebook ko. So, pagkatapos ng postulate 3, Explain ko postulate 5. Okay. So, ito, wag, okay, postulate 3 na to, guys. Blank space na to. So, postulate 3, if AB is 4 and BC is 5 and X and DE is X and DC is 3. So, portion of the line. So, line segment. So, AB times AC. So, paano mo mahan... So, AB is 4. Paano mo mahanapin yung AC? Basically, yung buong line segment plus mo lang. So, AB plus BC is AC. So, yung AC mo ay 9. Kasi yun yung buong line. So, one part of the line plus the other part of the line equals to 3. So, equals to line segment DE times line segment EC times X. So, magiging 36 equals to 3x and x equals to 12. So, ayun. So, ngayon, alam mo na kung ano yung x. So, di ba? Parehas lang sila. 12 times... Hindi po ba i-minus yung number, yung 3 po? Okay, wait. Teka lang. Nagugulan ako. <laughs> Ma'am. Okay. Oh. May tanong po ako. E eh, di bali po kung ano po yung value nung x, yun po yung i-divide dun sa nakuhang answer sa ano po, a, b, tsaka po sa a, c. Wait, teka lang. <laughs> Nagugulahan okay. ako. Saglit. 4 plus. Oh my God, wait. Mali ako. Bet, bet side. 
By three. Ma minus ko ata kasi yung three. Yeah. Yung... Yan. Yeah, nag- Okay, wait. Mali yung note ko. Okay. Ito yun. Andali lang. By three. Okay. Take your time. Postulate three. Line segment times its whole second. So, AB times AC is equal to CD times CE. So, kung ano yung product mo sa AB at AE, dapat parehas din yung product sa CB at a CD at CE. Oh. Mali na ba? Medyo hindi po. Okay. Ha, basta po, equal po. Hmm? Basta equal yung products. Yung, hindi importante yung value, kung di yung products. So, okay. Explain natin. Malinaw po yung equal po sila sa products. Pero yung, ang, ang hinahanap po kasi is yung x. So, bali, hindi po ba i-minus yung 3 para po makuha yung measurement ng line segment? Yes, po yung sa Hmm? Wait, ano, ano pa yung tanong? Ano yung tanong mo? Hindi po ba i-minus yung 3 para po makuha yung measurement ng isang segment na nawawala, which is yung x? I-minus mo yung 3. Uh, oh my oh, God. Second. Yeah, wait, oh my God. Nagugulahan ako talaga. Holy. Oh my god. Okay lang teh. Laban. Teka. Oh my god. Okay. Wait. Kailangan ko i-erase yung Just ko po wala na. Tatanong lang din po. Baka ako lang din po yung mali. Yeah. Yeah, tama ka, tama ka. Tama yun ko ya, tama yun ko ya. Okay. Kasi nasama na siya sa din si yung E. Oh, measure. Oo. Oh, oh, yes, correct. Yun. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. So, four times five. Four times yung buong segment. So, that's nine. Nine. Good. I, uh, okay. Ignore yet. Ignore yet. Ignore yet. Don't mind that. Yes. So, equals to 36 yun. Equals to three. Three. Lang. Oh my God. Ba't nagugulo? Yan na po. Continue. Teka lang. <laughs> oh my God. Ayun. X. Ayun. X plus 3 plus X and then times X. X. Ganyan po. Ganyan po yung sinasabi ko. Ayun. So maging 3X and then Ang tawag dito, plus x square equals to 36. Wait, wala na, wala na akong space. Eh, pwede po mag-burag. Meron po dito na araw dito po sa gilid. Paano tos, yun? Click nyo, click nyo lang po yun. Tapos may makikita po kayong mga pen, eraser, gano'n. Dito po, dun po sa may parang pen po na may bilog na kulay, ano, kulay blue. Or, hindi ko po kasi alam po ano po gamit <laughs> Di talaga ako sanay sa Zoom kasi, ayun, wait, ayun ba? Charot. Apo, ayun po. Ayun. Yung minute po dito. So, magiging, nakikita niyo ba to Okay. 3x plus x square equals to 36. Tapos, kailangan nyo i-factor. Ala. <laughs> oh my God. Ganun po. So, pero nagigets yun naman kung paano siya nakukuha. Opo. Yun. Sorry ko. Na, na, magul na, naging magulo lang po konti dun po sa 3x. Okay. So, basta alam nyo yung products, basta parehas yung products. Hindi importante okay, kung ano yung na. bawat value, basta parehas yung products. Yun yung importante. Malinaw? Keep in mind din po. Baka po kasi ang itanong nila sa test is yung ano po, yung length. Yung Ano? Kasi po may mga may reviewer po ako na ang tinatanong po is yung length ng segment. Hindi yung length yung tinatanong, hindi po yung product which is yung length po ang tinatanong mm -hmm. which is yung x po. 
May mga given po doon na number. Ah, so yun yung... May mga given po. Yun yung sa reviewers nyo? Okay. Baka kailangan ko ng sariling video discussing yung postulate na to. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Oo, subs... Oo, okay. Kasi naubusan na tayo sa oras. Kasi hindi ako Zoom premium. Kasi student Ay, ma'am, pwede, pwede po ito pag namatay po eh. Mag-open po kayo ng another... O open nyo po ulit same password po sa same meeting. Kahit po hindi premium. Pwede ba yun? <laughs> Opo. Tapos maglalag in na lang po kami ulit. Sige, okay. Ano? Tapusin ko yung session na to, tapos log in kayo ulit. Opo, sige po. Basta po, uh, pag po matatapos na ng one minute, sabihin nyo lang po na matatapos na po para po alam po namin na maglalag in po kami ulit. Okay. Okay. So, Bago tayo, bago uubos yung oras, kasi i-discuss natin yung postulates ulit, tatalong lang ako kung, kasi malapit na yung sets, alam ko, mga October na yung upcut. Kung, if I'm not mistaken, may kilala akong upcut passers, parents ko. Gusto niyo ba upcut talk? Yes po. Yes po. Kasi yung parents ko, parehas sila passers. Wow. Sana. Walang review, na walang Sana. review center. Wow. Yeah. So, kung gusto niya ng upcut ko, kaya ko, ano, i-include yung parents ko. Sige At po. Okay sa mga po. senior Kapit high students, sa, sa mga senior high students, tinanggap ko ng A-shape po. Po? Ng ano po? A-shape. Ano po? Ano? Ateneo. Ateneo. Ateneo Senior High. May kilala kong passer sa senior high. Kung may senior, senior high students, incoming senior high students dito. Me, ako po. Meron po. Meron so, po kung, here. So, pwede ako mag-A-shape to kasi yung, yung boyfriend ko pass sa A-shape. Sana all. <laughs> wow, sana all. Kasi hindi ako, hindi ako atanista. So, oh, yan. Yeah. Ay, so, so, bago tayo so, i-discuss natin yung postulates ulit. So, mag-in ulit kayo kasi may nag-message sa akin na gusto niya talaga mag-mock mag exam pagkatapos ng Zoom. So, after, after po nito, mag-e-exam po kami? Hindi, bukas, bukas. <laughs> ah, bukas po. Pero, i-discuss ko ulit. So, ang gagawin natin ngayon, mag-login kayo ulit. So, i-end ko na. Just login ulit kayo. Sige, Sige po. po. Okay, thank you. system. <laughs> Thank you. Mahirap ba stem? Opo. Okay. Keri naman. Depende po sa stem. Ah, taga probinsya ako, hindi ako nag-aaral sa Metro Manila. So yeah. Ako din. Dito I'm outside Manila. <laughs> May mga nag-aaral dito sa Big Four, yung tipong US uh, junior high sa USD. <laughs> Incoming Friend grade. Ba? Hinti. Incoming grade 11 pa lang. Kakatapos na ako ng grade 10. Sa ang school po kayo mag-enroll? Ah, uh, sa sa same school ko kasi automatic ano, uh, acceptance kami. Wala kaming senior high entrance exam. Oh, automatic which kami. is ano po? Secret. <laughs> Hindi po kayo an uh, online din po yung school niyo or ngayon, oo. Oh, oh. Kasi po may iba pong school na may araw daw po na pupunta sa pupunta ng school. Di kami pwede lumabas eh. San, oh. Sa college, saan po kayo mag-enroll? Kung kaya, atin ninyo. Kung, wow. uh, kung kaya. Kaya po yan, atin ninyo. Kung kaya. Kasi, eh, may medyo pressure. Kung daw sa Jawa. Ay, hindi. Oh, ay. Grabe siya. Ay, ay. <laughs> Malang po, UPL, uh, UP sa province. Kasi malapit yun sa akin. Pero kung di kaya, ano eh. Hey. Ano po? Hmm? Wala po. <laughs> okay. Click tayo. Sa? Ang tawag dito? Discussion. Okay, wait. Teka lang. Nalilito computer. Okay.
Okay, so let's go back to postulate three. I just... Okay. So, red. Oh my God. Wait, may... Ay, kailangan ko pa i-admit. Okay. Yun. Okay. Pen. So, again, second, we have point A, point B, point C, point B, and point E. So, four, five, ito X, ito, Three. Okay. Galing sa notebook ko to. Okay. So, working na to. So, AB is just four. So, yung, yung gagawin natin is, isusulat ko yung parang formula. So, line segment AB times line segment AC equals to line segment DE times line segment BC. Okay. So, AB, alam nyo niya kung given na siya. Four. Yung AC, yung buong line, so, i-add mo lang yung line segments, which is four plus five, which is nine. Yung DE natin, X. Multiply, di natin alam kung ano yung buong ano tawag dito? Buong line segment. So, magiging 3 plus x. Kasi, di ba, yung buong line segment na to is 3 plus x. Oh my God. <laughs> so, magiging 45, ay, 45, charot. 36 equals to x times 3. So, that's 3x plus x square. So, ayun. May factoring dito. So, kung i-move mo sa right side, magiging 0 equals to 3x plus x squared minus 36. Kasi, di ba, kapag i-move mo sa kabilang side, mag-iiba yung, yung sign. So, para i-equate, para magkakaroon ka ng formula na to, i-move mo sa kabilang side. So, magiging 3x plus x squared Minus 36. So, kailangan natin i-factor. So, actually, magiging x square. Kung i-arrange mo according sa polynomials, magiging x square plus 3x. Ma ay, 3x, yun. Minus 36. So, ang factor na to, actually, yung factor... Yung statement na to, wala siyang factors. Kasi, hindi mo mahanap yung x kasi ito. In Oops. Hindi ka mahanap yung x kasi wala siyang value of x. Kasi, kung itatry natin, di ba, kailangan mo malaman yung, yung factors of 36. Pero, yung factors ng 36 dapat i-equal sa 3x. Pero, kung gagawin natin, halimbawa, 6 and 6, hindi siya mag equate Hindi siya isa-satisfy na magiging x square plus 3x minus 36. So, kung if a factor mo to, magiging, oh my God, wala na akong space. Magiging 3x times 1 plus 12x. Kasi, ganito na lang, kung gagamitin mo yung foil, 3x plus, ay wait, charot. But, pero ano, kapag dating sa formula na to, hindi ka mahanap yung dalawang values of x na kaya mo isatisfy. So, actually, pagdating sa problem na to, sorry, mali yung notes ko, pero oh, uh, yung ganitong problem, hindi siya solvable. Pero, ano, may, may iba akong pwede sample. So, I, I, I. So, postulate 3 na naman. So, ito, 
Halimbawa, may dalawang seconds tayo. A, B, C, D, E. Okay. So, kung yung A, B natin ay 2, at yung B, C natin ay 4. So, magiging A, B times A, C, ha? A, C. So, yung buong line segment na yan. Equals to D, E multiplied by D, C. So, magiging 2 times 6. So, 2 times 6 na yan. Equals to, halimbawa, x plus 3. So, magiging 3 times 3 plus x. So, magiging 12 equals to 9 plus 3x. So, pa paano mahanapin yung x? So, move all the no, all the constants to the other side. So, yung rules sa math, one side constants, one side variables. So, para hindi kayo mahihirapan, yung whole numbers, one side, yung, yung numbers na may x or other variables on one side. So, magiging 12 minus 9 equals to 3x. So, divide both sides by 3, magiging x equals to 1. So, yun yung value ng 1. Ah, x. Malinaw na. Sorry sa... Sorry sa ano tawag dito? Sa confusion. Pero, okay na ba? Malinaw na. Opo, clear na po. So, yeah. Yun yung, oh, yun yung paano po. yung postulate tree. So, ano ba yung ibang postulates na medyo... Pwede naman yung dito pa... Hmm? 9 plus 3, 12x, then divide both sides by 12, 1. Hindi na mo kailangan na... Pwede. Pwede. Hmm. Pero ano, ito yung sanay na ako sa brain ko. Uh, any, ano ba yung ibang postulates na medyo nakakalito o yung ibang terms? 5 po. Postulate 5. five. Postulate 5 po. Postulate 5. Okay. So, in a certain... In a circle, two chords are congruent or equal if and only if they are equidistant. So, okay. hindi na to four. Okay, five. Kasi wala na akong space. Okay. So, two chords. So, di ba yung chord? Hindi siya lalabas. So, chord A, chord B, and chord C, chord D. So, if the question asks, um, are chords A, B, uh, what are the values of chords A, B, and B, C? So in a circle, two chords are equal if and only if they are equidistant. So halimbawa, yung distance natin dito, pati yung distance natin dito. So halimbawa, Yung distance natin ay x plus 4. Yung distance natin dito ay 2x plus 2. So, paano ba natin malalaman kung yung chord AB ay congruent sa chord CB? So, first, i-equate mo yung distance nila. Kasi di ba? If and only if they are equidistant from the center. So, if they are equally distant from the center, ibig sabihin, chord AB equals to chord CB. So, i-equate mo yung distances. So, x plus 4 equals to 2x plus 2. If move mo yung x sa kabilang side, so magiging 2x minus x, 4 minus 2. So, yung x mo ay 4 minus 2, which is 2. So, i-check natin. So, 2 plus 4 is 6, and 2x plus 2. So, 2 times 2, 4 plus 6. 
So therefore, chord AB, dahil equidistant sila, congruent din sila. So kung chord AB halimbawa ay 12 centimeters, ibig sabihin chord CD ay 12 centimeters din. Malinaw? Medyo magulo ko din. Medyo pa magulo. Okay. So, yung equidistant, ibig sabihin na equally distant from the center. So, ito yung center. So, halimbawa, given na yung AB, paano mo mahanapin yung C DC? Kung may distances ka na, i-equate mo lang. Kasi, yung postulate na to, chords are equal if and only if they are equidistant. So, dapat yung distance from AB ay equal sa distance ng CD. Okay? May ibang postulates na gusto nyo pa rin i-discuss? So, recap very, very quickly. Kasi may nag-request. Okay. So, postulate one. If a quadrilateral is inscribed in a circle, then its opposite angles are supplementary. So, supplementary, 180, opposite angles. So, quadrilateral, four sides. So, if a quadrilateral, halimbawa, four sides na to, na sa loob, ng circle. If angle A is 22, what is angle B? One fifty-eight. One fifty-eight. Good. Kasi supplementary. If angle C is sixty-two. What is angle B? 118. Good. So, basically, A plus B equals to 180. So, postulate one. Opposite angles equal to 180. Postulate two. If a second and a tangent intersect on a circle, then the measure of each angle form is one half of the intercepted arc. So, tangent, nagpapas lang sa one point. So, this is your tangent, and this is your second, kasi nag intersect siya sa dalawang points. So, A and B. Kung ang, ang, kung ang, arc, mo ri, ang arc mo rito ay 158 degrees, ano yung angle mo? Hmm? 79. Good. So, if the angle is one half, the angle is one half of its intercepted arc. Pero, paano kung may angle ka pero wala kang arc? Halimbawa, ang angle mo ay 23 degrees. Ano yung arc? Twice. <laughs> Forty-six. Hmm? Times two. Forty-four. Times two. So, forty-six. Forty-six. So, pagdating sa intersection of second and tangent, hanap, kapag hahanapin mo yung arc, times two. Hinahanap mo yung angle, divide by two. Malinaw? Opo. Okay. Postulate three. Favorite natin. Wow. The line segment times its whole second is equal to the other segment times its whole second. So, ulit. AB is equal to... Ay, sorry. AB times AC. So, part of AB times the whole is equal to part of D... So, DE times the whole. So, para siyang part times whole. So, kung ang AB mo ay 4, 
AC mo ay 9. Kasi yung buong second mo, i-add mo lang yung values. So, 4 plus 9. 4 plus 5 equals to 9. Ang DE mo ay X. At ang EC mo ay 3 plus X. Kasi yun yung buong line segment. So, dapat... Kung hahanapin mo yung buong line segment, i-add mo lang yung values. So, magiging... Ay, ito yung maling... Ito yung maling, ano, example. Ayun. So, magiging... So, alit. AB times AC. So, 2 times 6. Kasi part times whole. So, whole segment is AB plus BC. Plus lang kapag hinahanap mo yung buong line segment. Next, equals to 3 times 3 plus X. Kasi yun yung buong line segment. So magiging 12 equals to 3 times 3 plus X. Kasi part times the whole. So yun, magiging 12 equals to 9 plus dx. So, i-divide both sides by 3 at magiging 1. Malinaw? Oh. Oh. Yes, Ayan na siya malinaw. Uh, try. Okay. Postulate 4. In a circle, two chords are equal if and only if they are equidistant from the center. So, if chord AB is 12, what is chord BC? So, first, hanapin mo yung distance. I-equate mo para malalaman mo kung equal sila o hindi. Kung hindi sila equal, ibig sabihin, DC is not equal to AB. So, X plus 4 equals to 2X plus 2. Kasi yun yung values dito sa distance. Magiging 4 minus 2 equals to 2x minus x is x. So, x equals to 2. I-input mo lang yung values dito ng x. So, 2 plus 4 is 6. 2 times 2, 4. Plus 2 is 6. So, kung equidistant sila, chord AB is equal to chord CD. Malinaw? Yes, so, last postulate. Yun lang. Yun na yung postulates natin. So, kung kasama, kung kasama kayo sa study group, i-upload ko yung presentation na to kasi hindi ko ma-upload yung presentation sa page dahil sa Facebook settings. So, ito yung... Ito yung po makasali sa study group? Ito yung, ano, teka lang, hanapin ko muna yung link. Wala akong link ngayon, pero... Pag po ba sinerge po yung PH tutorial, lalabas na po yung study group? Yun, yun na yung link. Thank you. Yun na yung Ay. link. Hindi pa po ako na-accept. Oh my God, wait. I-accept ko na. I-accept ko mamaya kasi ano. Huwag ko na ka... GC po ba yun? Hindi, ano? Group page. Gr group ka. Kasi sa group, pwede i-upload ng mga files. Kailan po tayo, bukas po yung makaisam, anong oras po yun? May oras po Baka, ba? Or... Ano, pwede nyo i-take sa kahit anong oras? Kasi wala siyang time limit. Nakafile, nakafile. May time limit po yun? Or wala, wala naman po? Wala. Gusto niya time limit. <laughs> yung iba po kasi meron. Oh, Apo, para po nga i-practice. Yung sa rin po, meron. Pwede ko, i-time limit ko. Ano? 10 questions, 45 minutes. Pwede? Pwede po, ah. one hour. One hour? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ito yung joke po. 45 lang daw po pag upkat eh. Oo. Oh, oh. 45 na lang po. Sabi yung parents. 45 na lang po. Sobrang time pressured yung upkat. Huwag mo na nagyan mo ang sirgi, dapat natay ay sabay-sabay tayo mag-check. <laughs> Apo, apo. I-discuss na lang po siya. Apo, para po walang ano, cheating. Apo. Huwag mo na nagyan mo ang sirgi. Walang answer. Yeah. Walang answer. Apo. Sasabihin ko lang kung tama o hindi. <laughs>
Hindi mo bigyan niyo na lang po kami ng sagot after pong mag-take na ng lahat ng kasal. Apo, ganun. Ah, ganun po. Maalala mo kami kung saan po kami nagkakamali. Ganun. Pwede po namin ayusin kung saan kami kulang. Yes. Doon ulit pagkatapos ng exam. Pwede. Yun. Okay. So, ito yung schedule natin. So, mon- uh, mga next Wednesday, may upcut talk tayo. Invite ko parents ko. Oh. Yung mom wow. ko, BA Mass Communication. Yung dad ko, BA Journalism and Masters in, nakalimutan ko na. Wow. <laughs> so, wow. Pag-uusap ko, ano, <laughs> i-interview ko sila kung, ano, paano yung upgat. Kasi, at, kasi yung mom ko, aminado siya, hindi siya matalino sa math. Hindi <laughs> matalino sa math. So, sabi niya, nag-review, yung parents ko talaga, sila yung talaga, ano, proof na hindi mo kailangan ng review center para pasado. Nice. <laughs> so, mon- Wednesday, upcut talk tayo. Tapos Friday, discuss- discussing of mock exam. Okay? Okay po. So, don't worry. Ipapost ko rin yung schedule. So, sali na kayo sa uh, group exam. Ah, group exam. Study group. Mock exam tomorrow, time pressured, walang answer key. <laughs> so, Game pro. Tabang nang ambisyosa. Walang answer key, guys. So, if ever magbab... Or gusto nyo, ano, Monday na lang yung upka talk, tas Wednesday i-discuss natin yung, up- yung results. Ng- oh my God. Sige po. Sige po. Pwede po. Okay po. po. So, yun yung schedule natin. Monday, upcut. And Wednesday, ma- mock exam. Okay. 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 Thank you. Kubo na ka. Thank you rin po. Thank you rin po. Kam sa amin. Kubo na ka. Thank you po. Thank you. I can top in me. I can top in me. <laughs> I can't talk to me. Nawalat ka, girl. I joke lang. I can't talk to me. Bye-bye. Thank you.